What is Hajj? Hajj travel ancillary matters. Fazil of Hajj and Umrah. On whom is Hajj obligatory? Conditions for women to perform Hajj. Who are Maram? Must be done if not Maram. Hajj without Maram. If Maram is Saudi Arabia. If in it its state. Halal money is a condition for acceptance of Hajj. Hajj ruling for minors. If you become a fakir. Mikat Topik. There are five Mikats in total. Mikat of Bangladeshis. Identity of Haram. Hills identity. Types of Hajj. Kiran. Tamada. Ifrad. That is the explanation. Rules of Nafal Tawaf. Women's special issues regarding Tawaf and Sai. Hajj has three obligations. Obligations of Hajj. Preparing to go to Mina. Eighth Zilhaj is to be performed. Things to do while staying in Mina. The period of ninth Zilhaj. Where a cuff is not acceptable. Things to do after sunset. Things to do tonight. Ukuf time in Muzdalifah. To be done during Ukuf. The first work of the ten dates. Rock type. Introduction to Jamara. The tenth is the time of stoning the great devil. Talbiyah is closed. Stone throwing method. If you don't hit the stone in time. Second act of ten days. Sacrifice. How will the sacrificial animal be? Sacrifice time. Making multiple sacrifices. Place of sacrifice. Eid al Kurbani order for hajis. Residents and travelers. Ruling on the meat of the hajj sacrifice. Who does not have the ability to sacrifice. Tenth Silhij third act. Cutting the hair. Haircut time. Haircutting method. The fourth act of the tenth Zilhij. Tawaf pilgrimage. During far Tawaf. Method of Tawaf pilgrimage. Zilhij should be performed at eleven. Filhaj should be performed twice. Thirteen Zilhij must be performed. The thirteenth Zilhij is to be performed after stoning. Women's special issues related to Hajj. Ruling on Tawaf Ziyarat for menstruating women. Some places to visit in Mecca. Hajj performed by another or substitute Hajj. Prohibited actions in the state of Iram. Pilgrimage to Medina. Double blessing in Medina. Plague in Dajjal will not enter Medina. Virtues of death in Medina. Preparations for the trip to Medina. Greetings at Athar during fasting. Things to do during the days of stay in Medina. It is must to have to visit some places in Medina. Testimony of faith before fasting. Things to do before and after returning home. A sign of acceptance of Hajj. What is Hajj? For the pleasure of Allah Ta'ala, after putting on Iram according to the Sharia given rules, attending the holy Makkah Mukarama and doing something special on a specific date and time. Pertaining to Hajj tour, incidental matters. When going to Hajj, the intention will be purified. Make the intention that you are doing Hajj to achieve the pleasure of Allah in order to fulfill the orders of Allah Ta'ala. People will say Hajj, show respect, fame will be gained, business will be good, election will be good, doing Hajj with such attitude will not be rewarded, rather, it will be a sin due to Riyah. Hypocrisy is such a terrible sin that great scholars, martyrs and demons will become the fuel of hell because of this one sin. In order to avoid Riyah, one should perform Hajj and not tell others about it. But if someone asks, there is no harm in saying it as a discussion of the issue. Sahih Muslim Incidental Matters of Hajj Tour 1. Creating a Passport 2. Collect visa, air ticket and rials or dollars through a trusted Hajj agency or travel agency approved by the government. Items Required for Hajj The following is a list of items that a pilgrim should take with him for Hajj. 1. Passport. 2. Visa. 3. Flight ticket. 4. Dollar slash riol. 5. Regarding matters of Hajj, reliable books. 6. A medium bag or luggage. 7. Soil of Tiamum. 8. Hajjavelt. 9. A bag hanging around the neck to keep passport, ticket, and books related to Hajj matters. 10. No. 2 sets of your own clothes. 3 yards of 2 and a half hands 2 pieces of cloth and 2 and a half yards of 2 and a half hands of panna to wear as a lungi. The cloth of your arm should be white. The one to be worn as a lungi should be thick. No eleven. 3 to 4 sets of selwar Punjabi. Necessary materials like lungi, jinji, towel, hat, pocketbook etc. Bar. Large sheets and ropes for women to make all kinds of cloth and curtains for their own use. Sheet or thin kanta. 13. Winter clothes are necessary if it is winter season. 14. A small knife, nail clippers, scissors, blades, small mirror, needle, and thread. Iron products will be given in a big bag on the plane. Do not keep it in your carry-on bag. 15. 
Meswak, brush, toothpaste, necessary soap, blue. 16. Toilet tissue and tissue paper. 17. A steel or melamine plate, a glass and a small spoon, a dinner plate. 18. A small umbrella on hot days. 19. Fragrance-free oils, Vaseline, creams. 20. Headache, sore throat, body ache, fever, vomiting, medicine for upset stomach, saline to eat, and self-medication. 21. Keep 2,100 Bangladeshi taka with you, so that you can pay the fare to go home if necessary. 22. Keep two or three photocopies of passport, ticket, etc. in two or three different places. 23. One and a half kg of good Kaira and Jaggery. The mention list is intended to give an idea of the essentials for the Hajj tour. Everyone can do more or less of this according to their taste and needs. Moreover, these things can be bought in the markets of Makkah Medina. So if anyone thinks it is a hassle to carry these things from the country, then they can buy them from there. Intimidation about not performing Hajj despite being able. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said. If a person is not prevented from performing Hajj by external necessity, a tyrannical king or serious illness, and he dies without performing Hajj, then let him die as a Jew or a Christian, I do not care. On the authority of Hazrat Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. On the authority of the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, who said, Allah, the exalted, said, If five years pass over a servant to whom I have given a healthy body and for whom I have provided ample sustenance, he does not come to my house, then surely he is maram, from my proximity. Masmuz Zawaid Because of this hadith, the ulama say that it is must to have for the one whom Allah Ta'ala has granted tawfiq to visit by Tala at least once every four years through Nafal Hajj or Umrah. On whom is Hajj obligatory? Hajj is obligatory on the person who owns such amount of money or property in addition to daily necessary furniture and maintenance expenses of himself and his family which covers the expenses of traveling to and from Hajj and family expenses during Hajj. Hajj must be performed in the year in which it is obligatory. Delaying Hajj without an acceptable reason is a sin. However, if Hajj is performed later, this sin will be forgiven. Conditions for women to perform Hajj Having this amount of money or land in addition to the need, with which it is possible to cover all the expenses of going to Hajj and staying and eating for yourself and Amaram. A woman has considerable wealth but no marum to go with. Then Hajj will not be obligatory on him. If a woman's marum is going on Hajj, he also goes with her on Hajj, in this case. Even if he does not pay any expenses to his marum, his obligation will be fulfilled. If Hajj becomes obligatory on one's wife, and she also gets a marum to perform Hajj, such as son, father, uncle, brother, maternal uncle, any of them, then the husband cannot forbid her from performing Hajj. However, in the case of Nafal Hajj, the husband can prohibit the wife from going with any marum. And the wife will also be obliged to obey the prohibition. Who is marum? Those with whom it is never permissible to marry are marums. For example, father, son, own and half brother, grandparents, own uncles and maternal uncles, sons or daughters, grandsons and their sons, sons in law, father in law, stepbrothers, stepsons, etc. However, it is forbidden to go alone with a foster brother and to go with a young mother-in-law son-in-law. The fatwa of the Mutakar and Ulama is that in the current period of sedition, only the dean of one's own family will go to Hajj with the Maram. Do not go with other Marams. Age of Maram. Conditions for Maram to be of sound mind and of age. However, according to many jurists, if the Maram is near puberty, then it is permissible to take him on a trip. Old woman also cannot go for Hajj with other Maram women except Maram. If a woman is not marum, it is not necessary for her to marry for the purpose of performing the obligatory hajj. Must be done if not marum. If a woman has the money to go to hajj with a marum, but she cannot find a marum to take her to hajj, then she will wait for a marum until she is physically able to perform hajj. When physically unable to perform hajj through someone else. In addition, in case of not being able to perform hajj, it is also wajib to make a replacement for hajj. Hajj without marum. If a woman performs the obligatory hajj without a husband or marum, then her obligation will be fulfilled but she will be guilty of sin. It is important to seek forgiveness for this sin. If marum is Saudi Arabia. If a woman has a husband or a marum in Saudi Arabia and she wants to perform hajj with him, it is not permissible for her to travel from Bangladesh without a marum. If in it state. 
If a woman is in it due to her husband's death or divorce, it is not permissible for her to leave for Hajj before the end of it. However, if someone goes and performs Hajj in this condition, then his fard will be fulfilled. But he will be guilty for traveling during it. Halal money is a condition for accepting Hajj. The money to be spent for Hajj must be halal. It is forbidden to spend haram money during Hajj. A Hajj that involves haram money is not accepted. If someone does not have halal money but wants to perform Hajj, then he should borrow from someone the halal earned money. Then he will try to repay the loan with halal money. If you can't make any arrangements, you will pay the debt with haram money. Hajj ruling for minors. If a minor performs Hajj with his parents or someone else, his Hajj will be considered as nafal. If Hajj is obligatory after puberty, he must perform Hajj again. Otherwise, Hajj will not be performed. If you become a fakir, Hajj was obligatory on someone, but he did not perform Hajj for any reason. He has already become fakir. Hajj will remain obligatory on him. Once upon whom Hajj is obligatory, this obligation is no more socket from him except performing it. Mikat context. It is wajib for those who set out for Makkah Mukarama to put on Iram before crossing a certain place. That designated place is called Mikat. If someone crosses the Mikat without Iram, then he must return to the Mikat and put on Iram, otherwise dumb will be wajib. Mikat. Air travelers from Bangladesh, India and Pakistan appear to enter the Mikat boundary via Kurnul Manazil and Jaturak and the aircraft usually enter the Mikat boundary 20-25 minutes before landing in Jeddah. For this reason, air travelers must put on Iram at least 20-25 to minutes before landing at their home, airport or plane in Jeddah, otherwise it will become wajib. Jawahir al -Fik. Identity of Haram Hazrat Ibrahim A. Jibreel alayhi salam through this, some areas have been determined around by Tala Sharif. The boundary defined by him is called Haram. Cutting of trees, catching or killing of animals and fighting are prohibited within these boundaries, whether in Iram or without Iram. At present there are special signs on the boundaries of Haram. The boundaries of the four sides of the Haram of the Baitala are mentioned below. 1. Tanim. Located on the way to Medina, there is a mosque called Masjid Aisha. The distance of this place from Masjid Haram is seven and a half kilometers. 2. Nakla, located on the road from Mecca to Taif. The distance of this place from Masjid Haram is 13 kilometers. 3. Giarana. It is also located towards Taif from Mecca. The distance of this place from Masjid Haram is 22 kilometers. 4. Azad Laban, now also called Akashiya. The distance of this place from Masjid Haram is 16 kilometers. 5. Hudaybiyah, also called Shimaziyah. The distance from Masjid Haram to this place is 22 kilometers. 6. Jabal Arafat. This place is also called Jatasalim. The distance from Masjid Haram to this place is also 22 kilometers. Hill's identity. The space between the Haram and the Mikat is called the hill. The inhabitants of this place are called Al Hill or Hilly. There is no prohibition for them like the inhabitants of Haram. The border of Haram is their Mikat. If they want to perform Hajj or Umrah, they must put on Iram before entering the boundaries of Haram. If you want to enter Mecca for any purpose other than Hajj or Umrah, you can enter without Iram. But those staying outside the Mikat must enter Mecca and Iram for any purpose. If the workers of our country, if they go directly to Mecca, they also have to enter Mecca after putting on Iram for Umrah from Mikat. After performing Umrah, Iram will become halal and will go to work. Otherwise it will be a sin and dumb will be wajib. It should be noted that those who need to go to Mecca repeatedly from outside Mekat, such as businessmen, bus drivers, taxi drivers, etc., since it is quite difficult for them to go to Mecca after wearing Iram repeatedly, it will be permissible for them to enter Mecca without Iram according to the Shafi'i school of thought. Types of Hajj There are three types of Hajj. 1. Kirin 2. Damata 3. Ifrad. Kirin. Kirin is most effective. In the Hajj Quran, the Iram of Hajj and Umrah are tied together and the Iram of Hajj and Umrah are opened at the same time. It is not halal after performing Umrah i.e. after performing Umrah one cannot shave or trim the head hair and one cannot do any prohibited act during Iram. This type of Hajj is easy for those who go towards the end. Tamata has more virtues after Kirin. Tamata means making a profit. For Hajj Tamata, one has to go to Makkah Sharif after putting on Iram for Umrah and after reaching Baitala, one has to complete Umrah and become Halal.
Then on the 7th or 8th of Zilhach, when going to Mina, one can remain in normal clothes until before putting on Iram for Hatch. During this middle period, taking advantage of the usual, e.g. wearing sewn clothes, using cosmetics, cutting hair nails, etc., intercourse with wife, is called Ketamadu. In Tamada Hajj, Iram has to be put on twice and taken off twice. First time for Umrah and second time for Hajj. The rules for performing Hajj are as follows. After completing the visit to Medina, come to Mecca Shari for Hajj. Or go to Mecca first and then go to Medina after completing Hajj. But nowadays travelers have discovered a new method, that is, first visit Mecca Sharif and perform Umrah for two to four days and then leave for Medina. Returning to Mecca before Hajj from eight days there. There is a difference of opinion among the Fukahas as to whether the Tamatukari will be Tamadu in this surah. According to Imam Abu Hanifa, Ramatullahi Alayhi, the Tamadu in this surah will not be abrogated. And according to Imam Abu Yusuf and Imam Muhammad, Ramatullahi Alayhi, the Tamadu will be abrogated in this surah. However, there will be an opportunity to do Tamadu or Karen again while returning from Medina. And Imam Abu Hanifa Ramatullahi Alayhi. According to this, since the Tamadu will not be cancelled in this surah, one will return to Mecca from Medina only for the purpose of Hatch. Since this surah is controversial, it is better to avoid this surah by urging travelers. What is Ifrad? The virtues of Ifrad Hajj are less than those of Kiran and Tamadu. Hajj Ifrad means only Hatch. From Mike it only put on your arm for Hajj and reach Mecca and perform a Tawaf, Tawaf Qutum which is Sunnah. After that, he will remain in Iram until the end of Hatch. In this Hajj there is no Umrah before Tin Zilhaj. If you want to perform Umrah, you can do it after completing Hajj, after 13 Zilhaj. However, if you perform Umrah after 13 dates, this Hajj will not be Tamadu or Kiran by that Umrah. Because performing Umrah before Hajj is a condition for becoming Tamadu or Kiran. Explanation of Tamada Hajj since most people of our country perform Tamada Hajj, its explanation is given below. For Tamada and Hajj, only Umrah Iram is required first. After performing Umrah, when it is time for Hajj from the state of Halal, one has to put on Iram for Hajj. Preparation for Iram In order to prepare for Iram, first of all, cut the hairs, nails and excess body hair in the Sunnah way. Before going on a trip, take a bath for the intention of Iram. If bathing is not possible, then only ablution will do. After bathing, men will wear Iram clothes. A thick cloth will be worn like a lungi, and a cloth will be worn like a chadar. Since the wear is unstitched, be very careful not to let the satar unravel. Iram clothes should not be fastened with safety pins. Men will apply body perfume. Not in Iram clothes. Place of Iram. Those who will go directly to Medina from Bangladesh, they will put on Iram at a place called Zulhulaifa on the way from Medina to Makkah. Zulhulaifa is six miles south of Medina city. But for those who will go directly to Mecca from Bangladesh, it is better to put on Iram from Dhaka, from home or airport, or if the plane stops on the way. It should be remembered that Iram clothes should not go in the luggage, Iram clothes should be in handbags. Lately, since the flight schedule is not correct, many flights are also cancelled, so it is better not to wear Iram at home. However, it is better to wear Iram clothes from home than carrying them but then Iram will not be tied. In other words, Talbiya will not be recited with the intention of Umrah or Hajj. It should be remembered that only wearing Iram clothes without reciting Nayat and Talbiya does not bind Iram. Similarly, removing the Iram clothes without shaving the head does not break the Iram. The method of wearing Iram. Those who will go directly to Mecca, go to the Hajj camp or the airport, if the flight is confirmed, go to the bathroom while sitting in the waiting room, perform ablution, Go to the prayer room on the south side, pray to Rak AHS with a hat on the head or cover the head if possible if it is not mockery time. We'll take it as must to have to pray these two Rak AHS for the purpose of Iram. It is better to recite Surah Kafirin in the first Rakah and Surah Ikhlas in the second Rakah. Any other Surah can be recited. There is no problem if you are not able to perform this prayer due to mockery time or any other reason. Then take off the head cap. After that, Iram will be tied if you sit calmly on the plane and read Talbiya with the intention of Umrah. Since the Tamata Hajari will perform Umrah first, he will only make the intention of Umrah when putting on Iram for the first time. Intention of Iram for Umrah Allah, I want the life to come to you and accept it from me. O oh God, I intend to perform Umrah for your satisfaction. Make it easy for me and accept it from me. It is not necessary to make the intention in Arabic. 
The four sentences of Talbiya will be recited in four breaths like this. Talbiya will be recited after Nayat. Men will read aloud. It is must to have whenever Talbiya is recited three times in four sentences of Talbiya in four breaths. The four sentences of Talbiya will be recited in four breaths like this God bless you. Beck is not a partner for you to pick. Praise and blessings belong to you and the kingdom. You have no partner. Iram of women. Women should do what men do to prepare for Iram. The only difference is that after bathing women will wear their normal clothes i.e. loose full sleeve kameez and salor. Then wear a burqa that covers the face. Because it is forbidden to open the face in front of another person. Women who leave their faces uncovered and men who intentionally look at them will be guilty of sin. As a result, they will not have the chance of Hajj Maber. Remains that's why in our country, in Baitul Mukarram and many other places, a thing like a cap is found, but the front part of the cap is not as long as it is long, but it will be about one and a half inches long, it looks like the moon of the second to third day, then it will be worn over it. Then the veil will be done and the niqab will not stick to the face. Women recite the Talbiya three times after the intention of Hajj or Umrah like men, but in a low voice, not in a loud voice. Women can wear iram even when they are menstruating. But then it is better to take a bath to achieve cleanliness. Many people think that in the state of iram, the face of girls should be uncovered. This is a fatal mistake. While performing one duty, another duty is involved in arguing. So we have to cover the way we talked about covering the face. Otherwise it would be a sin. Iram of minors. If the minor child is intelligent, he will put on his iram himself and do all the work of Hajj and Umrah by himself. It is not sahih if someone else puts on iram on his behalf or performs Hajj for him without any reason. If the minor child is not intelligent then his guardian will put on iram on his behalf. His own iram will not be binding. However, there is no sin if a minor child goes on Hajj without wearing iram along with his parents or anyone else. Iram of a dumb person. A dumb person does not need to recite Talbiya for putting on Yeram. For him, the intention of Hajj will be considered as Yeram. Yeram of an unconscious person. If a person faints before entering Yeram while going on Hajj or Umrah, and there is no possibility of regaining consciousness before passing the Mekat, then one of his companions performs Yeram on behalf of the fainted companion during or after putting on Yeram. We'll take by this, his Yeram will also be tied. Two things after putting on Yeram. One. Read more Talbiya. It is sunnah to recite Talbiya at any place and change of condition. For example, at home and outside, on the road, in the bus, in the plane, after every prayer, when going up, when going down, before and after sleeping. Basically reading Talbiya everywhere, even if you meet someone, read Talbiya first and then give salam. Everyone will recite Talbiya separately. Do not get along with the teacher or anyone else. Whenever Talbiya is recited it is must a have to recite it three times simultaneously. 2. Abstaining from forbidden acts in the state of Iram. Description of prohibited actions in the state of Iram. Prohibited acts are divided into several categories. 1. Associated with Allah's commands. For example, committing any kind of sin. 2. Attached to the body and clothes. For example, a covering head, face, feet for men. So don't wear shoes that cover your feet. Women should cover their head and face, but care should be taken that the niqab does not stick to the face. b. Cutting hair, sprains, nails etc. c. Intentional cleaning of body dirt during bathing. d. Use of any kind of fragrance on clothes or body. So perfumes, scents, scented oils, soaps, gold, powders etc. cannot be used. It is makru even to eat fragrant jorda with bean. Mindy is also included in koshbu so neither men nor women can use mindi. E. For men, wearing clothes tailored to any part of the body i.e. Punjabi, Selwar, Jabba, shirt, Jinji, sweater, court, pants, socks etc. Note that although unstitched lungi is preferable but stitched lungi is also permissible. It is best to wear a stitched lungi, especially for an elderly haji who is quite apprehensive about opening his satar. 3. Involved with wife. For example, talking to your wife in a sexually stimulating manner. Do some intimate moments with your wife. However, there is no problem in holding the wife's hand while sitting or moving. But one should not lie or sleep in the same bed with the wife. 4. Related to peers. For example, quarrel with partner or any other person. Taking something without saying anything. Trying to prioritize others over oneself as much as possible during the head journey.
Note, will not catch any falling objects. Catching or picking up fallen objects is likely to lead to jail time. But yes, the owner of the fallen item can be asked to pick up your item. 5. Associated with animals. For example, hunting wild animals or helping a hunter. Help kill and kill lice. All the work that can be done in the state of Iram. In the state of Iram, the entire body except the head and face is covered with kanta, blanket, sheet, etc. Sleep with your head and cheeks on the pillow. But you can't lie down with your whole face on the pillow. Changing the clothes of Iram in the state of Iram even if it is not dirty or impure. Many people think that Iram is opened only when Iram is opened. This is not right. Iram is not removed until Halak or Taxir or hair is shaved or cut short. If the cloth of Iram is torn, sew it and wear it. Bathing without using perfumed soap. However, intentional body dirt cannot be removed. Fragrant fruits can be eaten. But don't take on a deliberate fruity or floral scent. Use unscented lip gel, Vaseline as a preventative. Using stitch belts, bags, etc. Ears are covered on the condition that the head and face are not covered. Earphone-shaped objects currently available to cover the ears can be used in the state of Iram. Slaughtering domestic animals such as poultry, cows, goats, etc. and hunting fish in the state of Iram. Killing mosquitoes, flies, snakes, scorpions, ants, insects, spiders, ferocious animals while in Iram. Ants will not die unless they are distressed. Teething, boils, boils, etc. Cheeks, broken nails can be cut, brushed, but perfume paste cannot be used. There is no problem in using glasses, watches, rings, muffler in the state of Iram. Special issues for women in the state of Iram. Women can wear shoes, hand and foot socks, panties, etc. that cover the feet. Iram can also be worn during menstruation or postpartum discharge. He can perform all other Hajj activities except Tawaf, Namaz, Quran recitation and entering the mosque. Can wear gold and other ornaments. But it is better not to wear ornaments in the state of Iram. It is prohibited to oil the hair in the state of Iram. Hair can be tied. However, if there is too much trouble due to not combing the hair, the hair tends to get tangled. Then the hair can be combed with a large tooth comb as needed without the intention of grooming. Can use black burqa. Many people consider it necessary to use white burqa. This idea is not correct at all. Henna, lipstick should not be used even if fragrance-free. While staying in Mecca, women will put on the Hajj Iram at home. Women do not need to go to Masjid Haram for Iram. Do not use perfumed shampoo for washing hair. All the shampoos in the current market are perfumed so one should refrain from using shampoo in the state of Iram. What are the benefits of Iram clothes? 1. The first benefit of Iram clothes is that by wearing these clothes, you can outwardly prove yourself as a madman of Allah Ta'ala. 2. The second advantage is that we consider houses, cars and wealth as our own assets. I think this is all mine. But in reality I have little of this wealth. Everything else belongs to Bibi Bak. I own only two sheets. Because in the end both sheets will go with me. And nothing I claim will go with me. When a man lies on his deathbed, two-thirds of his wealth is lost. Then a donation bequeathed to charity is effective only in one-third. And after death this part also ends. So why do we end life to acquire wealth? Through the cloth of your arm, Allah Ta'ala is teaching us that even if your wealth is like a mountain, two sheets will be your last wealth. So collect real wealth to take with you to the grave. And wearing this wet sheet is like dressing up in death. So prepare now for death. Soon one day your relatives will leave you in a dark grave dressed in white. What to do if you are unable to go after the Hajj of wearing Iram? If you cannot go to Mecca for any reason after putting on Iram for Hajj or Umrah, you will remain in Iram and observe the prohibitions of Iram. Then when it is possible to go, go and perform Hajj or Umrah and you will be freed from Iram. But if it is difficult to remain in Iram for a long time, then someone will slaughter a goat or a goat to be freed from Iram for Umrah and Ifrit Hajj within the boundaries of the Haram and Mecca. And to get rid of Iram for Kiran Hajj, two goats or Dumba should be slaughtered. Goat or Dumba will become halal only after being slaughtered and will become free of Iram. However, it is better to shave or cut hair after slaughtering. After that the person who becomes halal from the Iram of Umrah will perform an Umrah Kaza afterwards. And if the Iram of Hajj is halal, one Umrah and one Hajj must be performed. If Kiran Hajj is halal from Iram, two Umrahs and one Hajj must be performed. But if it is possible to perform Hajj in that year, then there is no need to perform extra Umrah. If you die in Iram. If someone dies in the state of Iram, he should be bathed and buried like a normal dead body. 
His face will also be covered in perfume and camphor can also be used. Asterisk if the person dies in the state of Iram in the year in which the Hajj was performed, it is not necessary to transfer the Hajj for the heirs of that person. And if he does not enter Iram that year, but instead enters Iram in a later year and he dies before Arafah, then it is necessary for him to perform Hajj from his country. And if the Ukaf dies after Arafah, no replacement Hajj is required. What is Umrah? What is the order of Umrah? It is a Sunnah Mu'akata to perform Umrah at least once in a lifetime for those who can afford it. Many also called Umrah obligatory. During Umrah, there is no set time for Umrah. Umrah can be performed at any time of the year. However, performing Umrah between the 9th Zilhij and the 13th Zilhij is makru. Because the Hajj activities continue during this time. When is the best time for Umrah? The best time for Umrah is the month of Ramadan. According to Hadith Sharif, performing Umrah in the month of Ramadan is equivalent to Hajj. According to another narration, performing Umrah in the month of Ramadan is equivalent to performing Hajj with the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. What are the two duties of Umrah? 1. Banda of Iram 2. Circumambulate. There are two types of Umrah wajib. 1. Saying 2. Shaving the head or cutting the entire hair short. Iram, the first obligatory act of Umrah has already been discussed, so now only Tawaf, the second obligatory act is being discussed. What to do before Tawaf? Purity is essential for Tawaf. Therefore, if there is no ablution, then he will perform ablution, and if a guzzle is obligatory, he will perform a guzzle. Before entering Masjid Haram, at home or hotel, one must perform ablution. If there is impurity in clothes or body, it should be washed. Tawaf with external impurity is makru. Women cannot perform tawaf while menstruating. Matters related to haram in the mosque. After achieving purity, first enter the Masjid Haram. At the time of entering the Masjid Haram, the sunnahs of entering the Masjid should be observed as per the rules. In other words, he will say Bismillah, recite Durud Sharif, then recite these two verses. O oh God, forgive my sins and open the doors of your mercy for me. These three duas can be recited together like this. In the name of God, and prayers and peace be upon the Messenger of God. O oh God, forgive me my sins and open for me the doors of your mercy. Then place the right foot on the boundary of the mosque and enter the mosque with the intention of Itikaf. After entering Masjid Haram, while looking at Baitala, say Allahu Akbar three times. Then recite La ilaha illallah once or thrice. Antar will make dua in his own language. Dua is accepted at this time. It is better not to raise your hand during these two times. Try to pray in Masjid Haram while staying in Mecca. Because if you pray in the Haram Mosque, you get the goodness of 100,000 rakats in every rakat. No matter where the prayer is offered in Masjid Haram, it is important to keep the Sina exactly next to the Kaaba Sharif during the prayer. If there is no Sina along the Kaaba Sharif, there will be no prayer. Do not pray next to a woman or directly behind a woman while praying in congregation in Masjid Haram. However, if a woman stands by and joins in the prayer during the prayer, then the man's prayer will not be invalidated. Just looking at Baitullah Sharif is an act of reward. So keep looking more and more in the hope of forgiveness of sins with Ishq Muhabbat. After entering the mosque, if one needs to go out, one should not occupy the place by leaving Zainamat or anything else or hold the place with the help of someone. Don't even try to come forward by digging people's necks. Hurting others in any way is a sin. It is very important to avoid all kinds of sins in this great holy place. Do not talk in the mosque and do not speak loudly. Tawaf. The place of Tawaf begins after crossing the Masjid Haram. The place of Tawaf is called Madaf. After reaching Madaf, he will perform Tawaf. Ijtiba will be done before starting Tawaf. It is sunnah to make Ijtiba between the Tawaf which is followed by Sayi, e.g. Tawaf of Amra, Tawaf Qutum, Tawaf Ziyara. Ijtiba is to take the wrapped cloth under the right armpit and place it over the left shoulder. Also keep the right shoulder open. It is sunnah to be in a state of Ijtiba in complete Tawaf. There is no Ijtiba in Nafal Tawaf. Ijtiba command is for men, not for women. After Tawaf there is Sayi, he should also perform Ramal in Tawaf. Since there is Sayi after Tawaf of Amra, Ramal must be performed in Tawaf of Amra. The first three rounds of Tawaf for men are Sunnah Muakata. Ramal Hall, shrugging his shoulders and walking a little faster and braver. Women will not play. If there is fear of harming others by walking during heavy rush, stop walking and walk normally. 
At least in the first three rounds, if you get a chance, Raymond will do it. Don't do otherwise. Hajj pilgrims will stop reciting Talbiya before starting to waf of Amra. It is not permissible to read Talbiya again before putting on your arm for Hajj. Before starting to waf, stand next to Hazrat Aswad and turn his chest and face towards him. Experience An easy way to tell if Hazrat Aswad has come along in the crowd is that there is only one minaret on one side of the Masjid Haram. Move a little forward from that minaret. Or you will see a green lamp burning on the second floor of the Masjid Haram in that direction. If you stand next to that lamp and face by Tella, you will become Hazrat Aswad. Hazrat will come along with Aswad and make the intention of Tawaf. That is to say like this, O oh Allah, I am performing Tawaf of Amra. Make it easy for me and accept it. After that, the palms of both hands should be turned towards Hazrat Aswad and Baitala in the same way as the hands are raised while saying Tarima and Takbir and Namas. In the name of God, God is great. There is no God but God, praise be to God, and may blessings and peace be upon the Messenger of God. Just say Bismillah Allahu Akbar. Nowadays it is not possible to go near Hazar Aswad because of the crowd. Moreover there are Kazba placed there so it is better to kiss Hazar Aswad as a gesture. Standing next to Hajar Aswad, make a gesture with both palms placed on Hajar Aswad. Then kiss the palm without making a sound. If one ever gets the chance to kiss Hazrat Aswad directly, one would place both hands on Hazrat Aswad and kiss silently on the rock between the hands. If he can't kiss in this way, if possible, he will touch and kiss the hand. Hazar Aswad straightened Sina after the kiss. Leaving the Kaaba Sharif on the left, Burdarp will start walking. Ramal will do the first three rounds. Hadam is the walled place on the north side adjacent to Baitala. Hadam is part of Baitala. So do Tawaf from outside Hadam. If you perform Tawaf from inside Hadam, it will not be Tawaf. It is forbidden to make the Sina towards Baitala while doing Tawaf. Then if for some reason the Sina turns back towards Baitala, the same area as the place that was circumambulated while returning to the Sina must be read Tawaf correctly. A person unable to perform tawaf on foot can perform tawaf on a wheelchair or any other vehicle. During tawaf, if the jama'at starts for fard namaz or janaza namaz, tawaf will be suspended and the jama'at will be joined. At the end of the prayer, the tawaf will start from the place where the tawaf was suspended. However, if three rounds or less have been performed before the break, it is better to start tawaf afresh without completing these rounds. It is makru to intentionally look at baitala during tawaf. One tawaf is completed in seven cycles. Voluntary circumambulation of more than seven circles in one tawaf is prohibited. If one voluntarily performs more than seven rounds, then the eighth round will be considered as a new tawaf and he will have to complete seven rounds including the additional round. However, there is no problem if it becomes more than seven by mistake. Reaching the Ruk Nyamani, if possible, touch it with both hands or only the right hand. If not possible, don't do it. There is no provision for touching the Yamani with gestures in the Rukna. The southwest corner of Baitala on the left side of the Baitala when standing with Hazrat Aswad in front is Ruk Yamani. Some part of the lower side of this corner is kept free of the Kaaba Sharif. If Sina turns towards Baitala while touching Ruk Yamani, then Tawaf of that place must be repeated. Starting from Hajar Aswad and reaching Hajar Aswad again will complete one cycle. Hazrat would reach alongside Aswad and stand back towards him. After that, saying Bismillah Allahu Akbar, if possible, then kissing Aswad directly in the presence of a gesture otherwise. At least Baitella will be left behind and start a new cycle. Complete the circle as per the previous rules. In this way there will be one tawaf in seven circles. Take care, you have to kiss Hazar Aswad eight times in seven rounds of tawaf. Once at the start of tawaf and once at the end of each circle. Water can be drunk during tawaf if needed. While it is permissible to talk during Tawaf, but do not say anything unless absolutely necessary. There will be confusion between Diker and Duar. There is no need to recite any Dua while looking at the book during Tawaf. There is no specific Dua in Tawaf without which the Tawaf will not be valid. Any Dua in Diker can be made during Tawaf. It is narrated from the Prophet Salalahu Alayhi Wasallam that he recited two Duas at two places during Tawaf. Those who can will read two or two in those two places. Namely, A. He used to recite this dua between Ruk Nyamani and Hajar Aswad. O oh our Lord, grant us good in this world and good in the hereafter, and save us from the punishment of hellfire. B. Between Hazrat Aswad and Makam Ibrahim used to recite this dua. O oh Allah, 
Satisfy me with your sustenance and bless me with it. And in all my unknown things keep the goodness. Experience. There are some dikers which if recited during Tawaf, the act of diker will also be completed and at the same time you will remember how many cycles you have done and how many cycles you are doing now inshallah. But don't consider them as sunnah. Just consider them valid. Details of the dikers are as follows. Reading Subhanallah in the first cycle. Continue reading Alhamdulillah in the second cycle. In the third cycle, keep reciting La ilaha illallah. In the fourth cycle, recite Allahu Akbar. In the fifth cycle, read Subhanallah wa bihamdi Subhanallah Hilazim. In the sixth chakra, keep reciting any Sahih Durud Sharif. Reciting any Istighfar in the seventh chakra. It should be noted that the Dua recited in the state of Tawaf, narrated by the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, will be recited in two specific places. And do these dikers in other places. Then the Dua Diker will be practiced on both and the cycle number will also be remembered. Moreover, in the state of Tawaf, everyone can make any Dua in their own language according to the emotions and needs of the mind. Remember that Diker is better than reciting the Quran while doing Tawaf. To be done at the end of Tawaf, First of all, Yadaba will take off. That is, he will take out the cloth from under the right armpit and cover the right shoulder. Because it is forbidden to do Yadaba in other places than Tawaf. After completing Tawaf, two rakat wajibat Tawaf prayers should be performed. Tawaf nafil, wajib, for whatever it is, it is wajib to perform two rakat prayers after completing Tawaf. It is must to have to pray these two rakat HS in front of Ibrahim. Leaving the place of Tawaf. Stand at a corner of the Madaf in such a way that both Makam Ibrahim and Baitullah are in front. If it is not possible to stand like this then this prayer can be performed anywhere within the boundaries of Haram. If it is not Makri time, it is better to perform these two Rakat prayers immediately after completing Tawaf. It is better to recite Surah Kafrin in the first Rakah of these two Rakah HS and Surah Ikhlas in the second Rakah. But it can be recited with any other Surah. If you perform Tawaf after ASR, then the Tawaf prayer will be performed before the Sunnah after the Fard of Maghrib. Dua will be made at the end of the Tawaf prayer. Now is the time to accept Dua. So open your soul and make Dua. After that, you will drink the water of Yam Yam to your satisfaction. It is must to have to drink this Mubarak water after the prayer. You can drink standing or sitting as possible. Say Bismillah before drinking. Then recite this Dua. O oh God, I ask you for useful knowledge, ample provision, and healing from every disease. Say, Alhamdulillah, after drinking. Some properties of Yamayim water. 1. No matter how much water is used in Jamsim well, it will never run out. Inshallah. Now millions of liters of water are being pumped daily through machines but there is no shortage of water. However, if this amount of water was lifted from any other well in the world every day, it would surely run out of water. 2. Yamajam water quenches thirst as well as hunger. 3. Yim Yim water can be kept for a long time without using any medicine. Therefore no change occurs in the water. But ordinary water becomes unfit for consumption if kept for a long time. Experience. There are water tanks for drinking water at various places in Madaf. Some tanks have not cold written on them. They are normal water. And most of the tanks have nothing written on them. They are cold water. That which is favorable to health will be drunk with satisfaction. After completing Tawaf. The demand for water naturally arises. Then Allah Ta'ala also ordered to drink water. In this way, the most merciful Allah has made the needs of the servants nature worship. Attendance at Maltazim, the wall between Hazrat Aswad and the door of Baitullah is called Maltazim. It is must to have to attend Maltazim after drinking the water of Jamazim. Coming to Maltazim, he will put his chest and right cheek against the wall of Baitullah and raise his right hand upwards and embrace Baitullah. Read Takbir and Darid Sharif and cry a lot and make Dua. Dua is accepted here. But don't cry loudly. First Wajib of Umrah. Making Sayi. Performing Sa'i after Far Dawaf. Sai's Discussion. Preparation of Sa'i. Sa'i is to circumambulate seven times between the two mountains of Safamarvar. Starting from Safa to Sa'i and reaching Marwa will be one circuit. Then there will be a second circuit from Marwa to Safa. Thus making seven rounds between Safa and Marwa is called Sa'i. Sa'i will start from Safa and end in Marwa. It is sunnah to do Sa'i without delay after Tawaf. However, there is no problem if there is a delay due to wait. Safa and Marwa are among the symbols of God. So whoever makes Hajj to the house or performs Umrah, there is no blame on him for circumambulating them. 
Then you will start walking naturally towards the Marwa Hills along the road on the right side. It is must to have for men to walk very fast at the place between Safamarwa where the green light is lit. Women will walk naturally here too. When making sayi, especially when crossing the area where the green lamp is lit, recite this dua if possible. My Lord, forgive and have mercy, and overlook what you know, that you are the mighty, the most generous. Arriving at Marwa, seeing the marks of Qatar, determine the Qibla and stand on one side facing the Qibla. Raise your hands and pray here. The Diker or Dua that was done on Safa Hill will also be done in Marwa. Dua is accepted here too. By coming from Safa to Marwa, one cycle of Sa'i was completed. Going from Marwa to Safa again will complete the second circle. Each time he rises to the Safa Marwa and makes Diker and Dua and walks briskly to the place with the green lamp. In this way seven cycles will be completed. The seventh round will end in Marwa. At the end of the seventh cycle, it is must to have to offer two rakat nafil prayers in Masjid al-Haram or anywhere in the Haram. If a prayer starts while performing Sa'i, then Sa'i will be postponed and will join in the prayer. At the end of the prayer, Sa'i will start from where it was suspended. Shoulders will be covered while doing Sa'i. The cloth of your arm cannot be placed under the armpits. It is not necessary to perform ablution again if ablution is broken while doing Sa'i. Because purity is not a condition for Sa'i. Experience. The seven types of diker mentioned in the seven rounds of Tawaf can also be recited in the seven rounds of Sa'i. It will also remember the cycle number. Even if you don't do any kind of diker, Sa'i will be Sa'i. Many people consider going from Safa to Marwa and Marwa to Safa as a detour, which is wrong. The place to pray has four floors. Sa'i can be done on every floor. So it is better to do Sa'i where the crowd is less than to do Sa'i in a crowded place. Sa'i's place has stairs running south along the Safa hill, so climbing up to the third or fourth floor will not be a problem. Second wage of Amra, Halak or Taxir. Discussion of shaving or cutting hair. After performing Sa'i, these few tasks of Amra remain. That is shaving the head or trimming the hair. Shaving is essential for those who have less than one layer of hair. And those who have more than one layer of hair, if they don't want to shave, they should trim the hair of the whole head or at least a quarter of the head at least one layer of hair. And women should cut at least one inch from the tip of the hair. While trimming or shaving the hair, it is best to sit facing the Qibla and the person cutting should start from the right side of the head. Experience. When a few people in the group run out of hair, one will cut each other's hair instead of going to the salon. Many people think that one has to get his hair cut from a salon before he can cut other people's hair. This idea is completely wrong and baseless. High-quality hair cutting machines are available in Maca Market for 200 rials. If you can't buy a loan, some people will buy one together. Buy a machine and cut your hair at home. It will also save costs and it will be possible to fulfill the sunnah of cutting hair. For example, sitting facing the kabil, starting cutting from the right side. Moreover, another brother can also be offered a krum. Tamata Hajj will become completely halal after cutting hair. Now you can take a bath and wear sewn clothes and do all kinds of halal work. However, he cannot do what is prohibited within the limits of haram. For example, fighting, beating, hunting, cutting trees, etc. The boundaries of the haram are 9 miles west, east and south from the Kaaba house and 3 miles to the north. At the end of Umrah, you can stay in Mecca and you can also go to Medina. But those who will be in Mecca have something to do. For example, 1. Males go to the mosque to pray five times with the congregation. It should be noted that the city of Mecca has expanded to Mina a long time ago. Arafah is now included in Mecca and the city of Mecca is expanding beyond Arafah. Therefore, after arriving in Mecca, if one stays for 15 days including the days of Mina, Mazdalifa and Arafah, and before leaving Mecca, then he is considered a mukim, and the obligatory prayer of four rakats will be performed in four rakats. Then, after returning the Salam of the Imam, he should recite two rak AHS by himself. And if Mina Mazdalifa and Arafa are not 15 days after coming to Mecca, then he will perform Khazar in Mecca, Mina, Arafa and Mazdalifa. That is, if you pray alone or in congregation, you will pray two rakats of the obligatory prayer of four rakats. However, if the Mukim prays behind the Imam, he must pray all four rak AHS. 2. Women not going to mosque for prayer. If they pray at home, they will get more reward than praying in the mosque. But if one goes to the mosque for tawaf and then the prayer starts, then he will join the congregation in the mosque. 
The men will send their respective women to the designated place for their prayers. If they are told before the prayer that after the prayer I will be at such and such a place and you will come there, then it will not be difficult to find them after the prayer. 3. Each time entering and exiting the mosque, the sunnahs of both fields will be recited. If these sunnahs are not memorized, then look them up from the book called Nabiji Sunnah. 4. It is very important to avoid all sinful activities, especially evil eye. 5. Women should not be veiled, especially not revealing their faces. If you keep your face open, it is a sin for yourself and you help other men in sin. To mad a hajj women can wear the normal niqab after becoming halal from umrayiram until hajjiram again. 6. Don't watch TV. 7. Do not take pictures of people or any other animals with mobile phones, cameras, or other similar devices. Video and not. 8. Do not shave your beard. Those who have not yet been able to grow a beard will go to that holy place and make a firm intention to grow a beard. And don't even think about touching your beard while you're there. Beard enhances the masculinity and beauty of men. There is no need for wife's permission to grow a beard. Beard should be kept even if wife dislikes it. Disliking the beard means disliking the sunnah of the prophet, peace be upon him. And if you dislike any of the sunnah of the prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, there is a fear of losing your faith. 8. Do more and more nafil tawaf. Nafil umrah can also be done by putting on iram from Aisha in the mosque. Rules of nafil tawaf. Come along the corner of Hazrat Aswad and stand facing Hazrat Aswad. After that, he will make the intention of nafil tawaf. That is, he will say like this. Oh Allah, I desire nafil tawaf. You make it easy and it will be accepted. At least raise the hand along the ear and give takbir and kiss Hazrat Aswad with the gesture of the hand. After that, the sina will be straightened and it will make seven circles like the tawaf of Amra. At the end of tawaf, two rakat prayers will be offered. Drink the water of Yam Yam. There is no ramel in Yadaba and nafil tawaf. Nafil tawaf can also be done in ordinary clothes. There is no sigh after nafil tawaf. It is better to do more nafil tawaf than doing more umrah during this time. 9. However, if someone wants to do umrah, he can do umrah. In order to perform umrah, one must go outside the boundaries of the haram and re-wear the umrah iram. The boundary of the haram is only 3 miles to the north, so it is easy to get out of the haram from the north. Usually everyone goes beyond the haram from this direction. On the north side, after the boundary of the haram, at a place called Tanim, is the Masjid Aisha. Hazrat Aisha from this mosque. He was wearing Iram for Umrah. You can wear Iram again for Umrah by coming here. Iram has been discussed in detail earlier. After putting on Iram, complete Umrah by performing Tawaf, Sa'i, and Halak according to the aforementioned rules. Even if there is no hair on the head during Halak, hoofs should be driven on the head. Women's special issues regarding Tawaf and Sa'i. To perform Umrah and Hajj smoothly, you can take medicines that stop menstruation. However, it is better not to do this because it causes damage to the body. It is forbidden to perform tawaf while menstruating in nafas. In this situation, it is not possible to enter the masjid haram. So on those days stay in hotel or house and be busy in zikarazgar, duay, etc. We'll be completely free from bad and useless talk. It is forbidden to read or read the holy Quran while menstruating. However, all kinds of zikarazgar can be done including talbiyah. Tawaf can also be performed on the prescribed days of menstruation if it is stopped after taking medicine that stops menstruation. Women should not go for nafil tawaf in the crowd. When the crowd is less, perform tawaf separately from men as much as possible. Otherwise there is no need to perform nafil tawaf. At present Hazar Aswad is crowded with men. So it is not right for women to go directly to kiss Hazar Aswad. It should be remembered that while achieving good deeds, it should not become a sin. There is no ramel in Yadaba in women's tawaf. Moreover, women will not walk so fast that the structure and beauty of the body is revealed. If there is a crowd, two rakats of tawaf are not required to be recited behind Ibrahim in the wage of Namaz Makam. Rather, it will be collected where it is easy. In this case, it is better to pray at the designated place for women. Don't even go there if there is a crowd of men in Maltesum. Nowadays it is always crowded so should not go to Malaysum. If menstruation starts while doing tawaf, it is important to stop tawaf and leave the mosque, home or hotel. In that case, if it is three rounds or less, after being purified, it will start tawaf anew. If there are four or more than four circles, the wajib of tawaf is performed. So it is not necessary to complete the rest after purification.
During saw in places with green lights where men walk very fast, women will walk normally. Women can perform saw even if they cannot perform to waft during menstruation. Because purity is not a condition for saw. Hajj has three obligations. Recently, the teachers started taking the hajjids to Mina from the 7th Zilhij night, so we will start discussing the hajj activities from the 7th Zilhij. However, before the main discussion, I am briefly mentioning the duties and obligations of hajj. There are three obligations of hajj. 1. Banda of Iran 2. Akaf Arafa i.e. staying in Arafa even for a short time from 9th Zilhij Zohar to 10th Zilhij Sabah Sadiq 3. Tawaf pilgrimage i.e. Tawaf of Hajj between the 10th of Zil Hajj and the 12th Zil Hajj until sunset. Obligations of Hajj 1. At the end of the night of 9th Zil Hajj i.e. from dawn Sadiq to sunrise is the time of Akaf Muzdalifa. If anyone comes to the border of Muzdalifa even for one minute during that period, then the wajib of Akaf Muzdalifa will be paid. 2. Sa'i between Safamarwa 3. Conquering stones in Jamarat on certain days Kirin or Tamata to sacrifice for Hajj 5. Shaving or trimming the head hair to become Halal 6. Performing farewell to Waf for those coming from outside the Mikat. Preparing to go to Mina. Mina will take a small bag weighing 2 to 3 kilograms maximum to carry essential items. Large bags will be left at home. Otherwise, you will have to suffer with big bags or luggage in the heavy crowd at Mina. Arafa and Mazdalifa. A small bag will take a set of your own cloth, plate, glass, medicine, and tissue paper. Can take a Hawaiian pillow and a fitted sheet. Don't forget to take necessary warm clothes if it's winter. If the wife is with you, the wish will be fulfilled. Before tying the iram, the beard must be fixed and the unwanted body hair will be cut. Iram will be tied according to the rules mentioned earlier. Now only Hajj will wear iram. We'll say an intention. O oh Allah. I wish to perform Hajj, make it easy for you, and accept it. It is better for men to go to Masjid Haram and wear Iram. It is better for women to wear Iram at home or in a hotel. Talbiya will start reading after tying Iram. We'll read more and more. On the tenth day of Zilhaj Jamarai, one can recite Talbiya until reaching Aqaba, i.e. the great Satan. The Talbiya will stop reading as soon as the Jamarai start throwing pebbles at Aqaba. And in the state of Iram will strictly refrain from prohibited acts. It is wajib to perform sa'i after the obligatory tawaf of hajj between the 10th and the 12th of Zilhaj. One can do this sa'i in advance if he wants. If you want to do this sa'i first, after putting on the iram of hajj, perform a nafal tawaf and perform sa'i for the obligatory sa'i of hajj. Later, sa'i is not required while performing the obligatory tawaf of hajj. At present, usually on the night of the 7th of Zilhaj, the mu'lim takes the pilgrims to Mina. So those who want to do Sai before ASR will put on Iram before ASR. After ASR, perform Nafal Tawaf and Sai. When it's time to go to Mina, those who don't know the way will wait from Mualim Sahib's car. We'll go to Minar Tabu by Mualim Sahib's car. And those who know the way, that is, those who think that they can find their Tabu by going to Mina, they can go to Mina on 8th Zilhij instead of going to Mina on 7th Zilhij. In that case, Iram will be tied on the morning of the 8th. After that, if you want to do Sa'i in advance, you should perform Nafal Tawaf and Sa'i. At least he will come to the eastern side of Safamarwa with the small bag in hand. Coming here you will see a tunnel. Its entrance is written, Nafakul Tarpikin Mushati. Nafakul Taridi Muzadi, meaning pedestrian tunnel. A three-mile walk eastward through this tunnel will reach Mina. Eighth Zilhaj is to be performed. Basically it is sooner to leave for Mina after sunrise on Eighth Zilhaj. Those who have performed Hajj before and are experienced with the roads can follow this Sunnah and go to Mina on the morning of the 8th. Sooner to stay in Mina on 8th Zilhaj. There is no other work of Hajj in Mina on this day except standing. Experience. Currently, due to the increase in the number of Hajjis, space is not available in Mina for all the Hajjis at once. Because of this, many pilgrims camp falls within the boundaries of Mazdalifa. So the main point in this case is that if someone's kima falls within the boundaries of Mazdalifa, the sunnah of his position in Mina will be fulfilled. Again, the endowment of Mazdalifa should be done in that tab. Besides, if you have to go to Mina on the morning of 10th Zilhaj, you can stay in that tent. However, you have to go to Mina during the quarries. It is must to have to pray five times in Mina, eight dates or ASR, Maghrib, Isha and nine dates far. Things to do while staying in Mina. A. Praying five times with congregation. B. More and more recitation of Quran and Zikaraskar. C. T. 
teaching the Masalamis sale of Hatch. D. Starting to recite Tashrik and Takbir after the ninth far prayer. At the end of the prayer, first read Tashrik and Takbir and then read Talbiya. The period of Tashrik and Takbir will continue till the 13th ASR. The period of 9th Zilhaj. Departure from Mina to Arafah after sunrise. Nowadays, the teachers send many people to Arafah on the 8th night. Some people go to Arafah on the 8th night because of the crowd. However, if possible, one should not go to Arafah on the 8th night, because there is no reward for staying on the 8th night. On the other hand, spending the night in Mina on the 8th Sunnah. It is Sunnah to perform the Far Prayer in Mina on the 9th day. It is must to have to leave Mina for Arafah after sunrise. So one should not go to Arafah on the night of the 8th day and stay in Mina. But if one's companions leave and one does not have the prior experience of walking to Arafah and finding a tab, if there is, it is better to go with companions, but it is must to have to go to Arafah after sunrise on the ninth date. Talbiya, Takbir, Talal and other Diker and Durid Sharif will be recited on the way to Arafah. When mercy is visible in Jabal, more and more Diker, Duwe and Istighfar will be done. What to do in Arafah? After reaching Arafah, take a bath before Zor. Bathing for Ukaf is Sunnah. If it is not possible to take a bath, then perform ablution. Food and drink and other necessities will be free. However, the food will be provided by the teacher at certain times. So there is no need to worry about food. You will perform your prayer at Awal time with the Jama'at in your own tab. Special note, Zor and ASR will be read together at the time of Zor on Arafah by those pilgrims who pray under the Imamate of Amiral Hajj in Namra Mosque. But those who pray in the tabernacle will normally pray Zor at the time of Zor and ASR at the time of ASR according to the Hanafi Madhab. However, if someone prays Zor ASR together in the tabernacle, then there is no argument with him. It is better not to keep Nafal fast on the day of Arafah for Hajis. Because the next day Hajj has to do a lot of work. So there is a fear of becoming weak if you fast for nine days. As a result, there may be disruption in performance of tasks. Where Ukaf is not acceptable. Some low places on the western side adjacent to the Namur of Masjid Arafah are called Bet Urana. Staying here will not fulfill the obligation of Akaf Arafah. Ninth Zilhij to be performed after sunset. After sunset, one should leave for Muzdalifa from Arafah without performing Maghrib prayer. Muzdalifa is a field like Arafah. It is obligatory to perform Akaf and Muzdalifa after the far prayer on the night of the ninth day. Many leave Arafah for Muzdalifa before sunset. All of them are completely ignorant mistakes. Those who go outside the boundary of Arafah before sunset, if they do not return before sunset, dumb will be wage upon them. But if one gets on the bus before sunset then there is no problem. But care should be taken that the bus does not go beyond the limits of Arafah before sunset. It should be noted that there are several wide footpaths from Arafah to Mazdalafa. It is safer to walk on this road than by bus. On the way to Mazdalafa, more and more Talbiya, Takbir, Talal, Tasbi, Durud and Istighfar will be recited. On reaching Mazdalafa, at the time of Isha, one call to prayer, and one Ikamad, first Maghrib, then without any break, i.e. after Maghrib, Isha should be read without engaging in Sunnah, Nafal or any other work. In this case there is no need to give Ikamad an Isha prayer. However, if any other work is done after Maghrib, a different Ikamad must be paid for Isha. This command to pray Maghribisha together in Mazdalifa is for both congregational and solo prayers. There is no variation in this ruling for women. That is, they will read Maghribisha at the time of Isha. Maghrib Sunna will be recited after Isha. Then Isha's Sunat and Bider will be recited. If it is not possible to reach Mazdalifa by Isha time, Maghrib and Isha will fall on the way. After that, if by chance he reaches Mazdalifa before the time of Isha is over, then Maghrib Isha must be recited again. Therefore, in such cases, it is better to stand for prayer 20 to 25 minutes before Isha time, so that as soon as the prayer ends, the time also ends, and do not have to pray twice. If one reaches Mazdalifa before Isha time, Maghrib will not fall, rather, Maghrib and Isha will be recited together after the time of Isha. Experience Mazdalifa is 3 to 4 miles from Arafah. Mazdalifa can be reached both by car and on foot from Arafah. However, if you go by car, despite the short distance, there is a fear of running out of time due to heavy traffic. So walking is better for those who can walk. Special note. Between Arafah and Mazdalifa there is a plain about 5 kilometers wide. There are many toilets and plants. 
Many of those who walk from Arafat to Mazdalifa consider this field to be Mazdalifa and stay here. And this is where Maghrib-Isha prayer is performed together. However, it is not permissible to pray Maghrib and Isha together here. And if Ukaf is done here after far, the wajib of making Ukaf and Mazdalifa will not be fulfilled. Dumb wajib will be imposed on those who fall victim to this mistake. Sunnah Muakata and Mazdalifa on the night before the ninth Zilhach. To be performed on the night of ninth Zilhach. Hajis usually get tired from coming from Arafat to Mazdalifa. Therefore, Isha prayer is read, food is eaten, and sleep is fast, so that after morning Sadiq there can be busy during the important period of Amal. But if it is possible for someone, it is better if he can perform two four rak at Nafal Namaz and some Dewey Durud and Zikaraskar. From here collect seven stones shaped like chickpea boots or maximum palm fronds. Because it is must to have to collect seven stones from Mazdalifa to kill the big devil on the tenth day. Time of Ukaf and Mazdalifa. At the end of the ninth day night, i.e., the time of Ukaf Mazdalifa from dawn till sunrise. If anyone comes to the border of Mazdalifa even for one minute during that period, then the wajib of Ukaf Mazdalifa will be paid. However, it is sooner to stay in Mazdalifa from Sadiq in the morning until the surroundings are well groomed. If someone leaves Mazdalifa before dawn or comes to Mazdalifa after sunrise, then wajib will not be performed. So he has to give up. However, if someone is unable to come to Mazdalifa due to illness, or if women are unable to perform ukuf in Mazdalifa due to crowding, it will not be wajib on them. To be done during ukuf, far prayer will be read at awal time. After that, it will be done until the sides are quite fair. There is no need to perform ukuf standing or under the open sky. If the taboo is in Mazdalifa, he will do the akaf while sitting in his taboo. The deeds that were done during the akaf in Arafah will also be done here. That is, there will be occupation in Talbiya, Takbir, Talal, Tasbi, Durud, Dua, and Istighfar. Do not engage in any kind of idle talk. What is the work on the first day of Tin? The ten days of Zilhij have many important functions of Hatch. Below is a detailed description of them sequentially. First act of the tenth just stone the big devil. It is one of the obligatory acts of Hatch. When the surroundings are quite fair, shortly before sunrise, depart from Mazdalifa for Mina. It is sooner for the caliph to leave for Mina at or after sunrise. More and more Talbiya will be read on the way. Those whose minaret tents are in Mazdalifa do not need to leave their tents now. They will go out to stone the big shaitan at a time when the crowd is less, after having breakfast after Akif. What kind of stone will it be? On the tenth day the stones to be collected to kill the great devil and the stones to be killed on the following days will be shaped like gram boots or the seeds of the highest date palm. Throwing big stones is makru. The stone must be holy. Unholy stoning is makru. If there is fear of impurity, it will be washed. Whether the stone is holy or impure, it is must to have to wash it. It is makru to break big stones and take them to pieces. So collect small stones. It is must to have to collect the stones of the tenth date from Mazdalifa, but the stones of the following days can be collected from any place. But the stones thrown at Satan which are lying around Satan cannot be collected. Introduction to Jamara On the way from Mina to Makkah, the first stone-throwing place near Masjid Kaif is called the Little Devil or Jamara Sugra. The second place of stoning is called Mesh Shaitan or Jamara USTA. The last place a stone's throw from the western end of the minaret is called the Big Devil or Jamara Aqaba. The tenth is the time of stoning the Great Devil. The time to stone the Great Devil is 24 hours. That is, from the dawn of the night of the ninth to the dawn of the night of the tenth. However, the must-to-have period is from sunrise to sunset on the tenth. Valid time is after Subah Sadiq to before sunrise and from sunset to sunset. But since Ukaf Mazdalifa has to be performed after Subah Sadiq, there is no opportunity to throw stones at this time. However, since the crowd is less, women can perform ukuf for a while and throw stones. From sunset to Subah Sadiq is makru time. However, it will not be makru if women or mature people are pelted with stones at night due to the crowd. When the crowd is less during the specified time, the stones will be pelted with information. Men will try to finish stoning during the day, usually less crowded at night, so women will be taken to get stoned at night. In the current state of the crowd, if weak, able-bodied elderly men also go to throw stones after ASR or at night, then the situation will not be makru due to the situation in Shala. Talbiya is closed. There will be more and more Talbiya on the way while going for stone pelting. Because after a while Talbiya must be stopped. 
The Talbiya will stop reciting just before the first stone is thrown upon reaching the big Satan. From now until the end of Hajj it is not permissible to recite Talbiya. Stone Throwing Method If possible, the south side of the pillars should be facing north, leaving Mina on the right and Kaaba Sharif on the left. Otherwise stand as possible. Then holding the stone with the fingers of the right hand and Shahada will throw seven stones seven times, one at a time. It is Sunnah to throw seven stones consecutively without stopping. Stones should be cast into the wall frame. If a stone does not fall within the circle then it will not be considered. Another stone should be thrown in its place. So it is better to keep two three extra stones. There is no need to stone the pillar or wall inside the enclosure which is called Shaitan. But it is better if you throw a stone at the base of the pillar. Throwing seven stones together will catch one. The remaining six must be re-killed. Asterisk after throwing the seventh stone, it will come out quickly. No Duadurud will be recited standing there. On the way back, you can recite Duadurud while walking. But Talbiya will not read. Experience. The stoning side is multi-storied. Each road leads to a different floor. The person who wants to throw stones from the floor will take the path of the floor by thinking in advance. He will throw stones from the floor which seems less crowded. Many throw shoes, chests, etc. on the symbolic devil, pole. This is not permissible. It should be noted that the wall around the devil's pole, if you avoid the crowd and go to the west side of the wall, the crowd is much less. This opportunity can be taken. From Muzdalifah to Jamarat, stoning places, and distance to Makkah Sharif. While going from Muzdalifah towards Jamarat, the tin-shaded footpath starts from the starting point of the minaret, from here the distance to Jamarat is 3 km. Then the distance from small Shaitan to Mesh Shaitan is 300 meters and distance from Mesh Shaitan to Big Shaitan is 330 meters. After walking for about 1 km towards the front i.e. westward from Big Shaitan, there is a footpath leading to Haram Sharif on the left. After another kilometer from here, the tunnel starts inside the mountain. The length of the two consecutive tunnels is 1 and a half kilometers. It takes about 22 to 25 meters to cross both tunnels when walking at a moderate pace when coming to the Haram from the direction of Mina. In general, the distance from Big Satan to Maladunabi Salalahu Alehi Wasalam on the tunnel road is about three and a half kilometers. Stoned by others, stoned by oneself is Wajib. It is not permissible to throw stones at others while one is healthy and able. But if someone is so sick that he cannot pray standing up, or if there is a strong fear that the disease will increase if he is stoned, then he can stone him through someone else. This command applies equally to men and women. If a woman pelts another person with a stone on the pretext of a crowd, then the wajib of stoning is not fulfilled. Stone pelting by an adult requires his permission. Wajib will not be fulfilled if stone is thrown without permission. But minors, unconscious and lunatics may be stoned on their behalf by their guardians without their permission. If you don't hit the stone in time, Dumb will be wajib if the big devil is not stoned before Sadiq on the night of the tenth day. Likewise, if someone is unable to throw stones in the following days due to some problem, it will be obligatory on him. And for these three days one breath will be enough. Second act of ten days, sacrifice. To sacrifice it is also an obligatory act. Tamata and Kiran Hajj sacrifice is obligatory for Hajj pilgrims after stoning the big Satan. Sacrifice is not wajib for Afrat pilgrims. But it's better if you can. How will the sacrificial animal be? The same conditions that apply to the animals of Edol Azza are also applicable to the animals of Hatch. Therefore, camels should be five years old, cows and buffaloes two years old, goats, dumbas and sheep one year old. A maximum of seven people can be partners among camels, cows and buffaloes. It is better to sacrifice a camel for those who can afford it. Mental page for 78. Experience. Kurbani can be done in two ways. 1. There is a camp called Moisim on the north side of Mina. Anyone can go there and buy goats and slaughter them with their own hands. Or if you tell the people who sell animals there, they will slaughter the goat in front of you. 2. Three miles south of Baitella Sharif in Makkah, there are two animal markets called Halaka and Nakasa. If someone wants to go to that market and buy animals and sacrifice, it can also be done that four to five reliable people from the entire caravan go to the market. They would buy animals and slaughter them with different intentions for each. It should be noted that currently many people make sacrifices through banks. But it is against caution to make sacrifice through the bank. Because bank authorities usually cannot perform kurbani during the time when they are told to do kurbani. 
So if the head is shaved or the hair trimmed after waiting for the time given by them, and the sacrificial animal is not slaughtered until then, then the crime of shaving the head before the sacrifice will be wajib. Because Tamata and Kiran pilgrims are forbidden to shave their heads or trim their hair before performing kurbani. But he will not be able to know that breath has been imposed on him. Thus his hajj will remain defective. Therefore, as far as possible, don't sacrifice through the bank. However, if one can somehow be sure that the bank authorities have done his sacrifice, then there is no problem in doing halak. And in that case, there is no difficulty in making the sacrifice through the bank. But the reality is, it is impossible to know. So it would not be wise to take this risk. Sacrifice time. If you perform kurbani at any time from the dawn of the 10th Zilhij until the sunset of the 12th Zilhij, the obligation of kurbani will be fulfilled. However, on the tenth day before stoning the big devil, sacrifice will be obligatory. So it can be said that the time of sacrifice for the pilgrims began on the tenth day after the stoning of the great Satan. Making Multiple Sacrifices It is better to perform multiple kurbani for those who can afford it. Hadith Sharif encourages reading more and more talbiya and performing kurbani during Hajj. Moreover, the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, also made several sacrifices during the Hajj. If you perform multiple kurbani, you can make the intention for the excess. If dumb is wajib, then dumb is nafil kurbani otherwise. Place of Sacrifice It is necessary to slaughter the sacrificial animal of Hajj and the animal of dumb i.e. fine within the limits of haram. Slaughter outside the haram does not render kurbani and dumb any. Kurbani can be done anywhere in haram. It is not necessary to perform kurbani in Mina. Eat Alaza Kurbani order for Hajis. If a person is a traveler for the whole time from the morning of the 10th of Zilhaj to the sunset of the 12th of Zilhaj, then it is not wajib to perform the Kurbani of Eid Al-Az on him. Therefore, if a Haji Saheb is a traveler at that time, then it is not wajib for him to perform Eid al Kurbani. And if it is Mukim, then a separate sacrifice for Eid al must be done along with the Hajj sacrifice. Eid al sacrifice can be done in Makamina or can be done at home in the country. Residents and Travelers Those who are staying 15 days in Mecca, Mina, Arafah, and Muzdalifah and intend to stay 15 days are Mukim. Those who first went to Medina, came to Mecca before Hajj, if they intend to stay for 15 days from the time they arrived in Mecca to the time they left Mecca, including the days of staying in Mecca, Mina, Arafah, and Muzdalifah, they will also become Mukim. If those who will be Mukim own the amount of wealth of the Nesab, it will be wajib on them to offer the kurbani of Eid al-Azza. Those who do not intend to stay in Makamina for 15 days will be Musafir. It is not wajib to perform Eid al azza sacrifice on them. What is the ruling on the meat of Hajj sacrifice? The ruling on the meat of the Hajj sacrifice is the same as the meat of the Eid al azza sacrifice. You can eat yourself, you can feed others, you can give charity, you can keep it. However, the meat of the breath that is given as a penalty cannot be eaten by themselves. What should be done for those who do not have the ability to sacrifice? Tamata and Kiran Hajj sacrifice is obligatory on Hajj pilgrims. If someone does not have the capacity to perform this kurbani, then he should fast ten times instead of kurbani. Three fasts should be observed before the tenth. The remaining seven Hajjs can be performed at any time of the year, completely exempted from them. If three fasts are not observed before the tenth day then the sacrifice will be prescribed. In that case, if there is no arrangement for Kurbani on the tenth day, he will become halal by halak or taxir without performing Kurbani. After that, when able, two animals should be slaughtered within the boundaries of the haram. For one Hajj Kurbani, another Kurbani is not permissible. It should be noted that due to the many tasks of the tenth Zilhaj Hajj, Eid prayers have been waived by Allah Ta'ala for the Hajjs. So no one has to offer Eid prayers. However, there is no problem if one is present in Mecca during the prayer and joins the congregation of Baitala Sharif. 10th Zilhij 3rd Act, Cutting the Hair Haircut This is another important obligatory act of Hatch. Haircut Time Hair should be cut after the 10th Zilhij Kurbani. From the time of Kurbani, it is time to cut the hair twice until sunset. Dumb will be wajib if you do not cut your hair within this period. Hair should be cut within the boundaries of Haram. Cutting hair in Mina is Sunnah. If the hair is cut outside the boundaries of haram, it may be halal, but dumb will be wajib. Hair cutting method. Sitting facing the Qibla, saying Allahu Akbar. Start cutting the hair on the right side of the head. It is better for men to shave their heads. If someone's hair is more than one inch, he can shorten the hair on the side by one inch. 
If someone already has less than an inch of hair, then it is necessary to shave their head. Women will cut about an inch from the tip of the entire hair. If you cut your beard, mustache, nails, or any other body hair before cutting your hair, dumb will be wajib. It becomes halal only if the hair of a quarter of the head is cut. But it is not good. Asterisk if one does not have hair on his head, whether due to previous shaving or any other reason, the head should be shaved. Special note. The experiences written about when Amra becomes halal from Iram can be used here as well. After cutting the hair, everything prohibited due to Iram, except for the wife, will become halal. Tawaf Ziyar at i.e. after performing the obligatory tawaf of Hajj, the wife will also become halal. One can go for far tawaf after cutting hair and taking a bath and wearing normal clothes. Can go again without bathing and without changing your own clothes. 10th Zilhij 4th Act, Tawaf Pilgrimage. Tawaf Pilgrimage. Tawaf Ziyarat is an important duty of Hajj. During Far Tawaf. This Tawaf period starts from Sadiq on the 10th. It is wajib to perform Tawaf before sunset on the 12th date. If someone cannot perform this Tawaf within that time, then performing Tawaf at any time of life will fulfill the Fard. However, due to not being able to perform Tawaf before sunset on the second date, Dumb will be wajib. It is to be noted that for tomato and karankari it is wajib to do three things consecutively, stoning the big shade and offering sacrifice and cutting hair on ten days. But it is not necessary to maintain continuity between far tawaf and these three acts. Therefore, if someone wants to, he can perform obligatory tawaf even before it becomes halal. However, it is sunnah to do this tawaf after doing those three things. Method of Tawaf Pilgrimage do the Tawaf Ziyarat in the same way as the Tawaf of Amra. However, it is not necessary to do Yadaba in this Tawaf. And if Sai has done it before then there is no need to do Ramal. Tawaf pilgrimage or Hajj must be done by oneself no matter how sick one is. Under no circumstances can this Tawaf be done through someone else. Therefore, if someone is sick, he will perform Tawaf in a wheelchair. Hire someone to push a wheelchair if necessary. In this case, the helper does not need to intend to waff if the person doing to waff has the will. Otherwise, the helper will perform to waff himself and also perform to waff on behalf of the sick person. If the helper does not intend to perform to waff on himself and the assisted person while the original to waff performer is unconscious, then to waff of the unconscious person will not be performed. Mental 148 to 49. To waff pilgrimage on foot is wagered for healthy people. Mental page 233. Experience. The easiest way to get from Mina to Mecca for those who can walk is to proceed slightly west of the Big Shade Inn and take the Tin Shed Road on the left through the tunnel into Mecca. It takes about an hour to reach Mecca by walking from here. And those who want to go by car can get in the car from the place called Azizia or Bin Dawid. Azizia is a little further ahead of Jamara Aqaba on the road to the left, and Bin Dawid grew up a little earlier without entering the Tin Shed. However, before getting in the car and getting out of the car to reach home, you can reach Mecca by walking approximately as much as you have to walk on the Tin Shed Road. Moreover, it takes about two to three hours to travel from Mina to Mecca due to heavy traffic on the road, which is very annoying and troublesome. So it is better for able-bodied pilgrims to walk. However, if there is a huge crowd at the mouth of the tunnel on both sides, do not take the risk of entering the tunnel for safety. For example, on the 12th, the gyra goes to Mecca through the tunnel. Do not attempt to enter the tunnel from the direction of Mecca on that day from Zohar to Isha. Go to Mina by car. On the way back, it is expected to be able to easily return through the tunnel. Performing Hatch Sa'i is also an important obligatory act of Hatch. Those who perform Sa'i for Hatch before going to Mina do not need to perform Sa'i now. Those who did not do Sa'i will do Sa'i. The details of Sa'i are mentioned in the discussion of Amra. If necessary, he will look at the method of Sa'i from there and perform Sa'i accordingly. It is better to perform obligatory Tawaf. Sa'i can be performed at any time after Far Tawaf. Sa'i has no end time. It is sooner to stay in Mina from the night before the 10th of Zilhij until the sunset of the 2nd Zilhij. Complete the obligatory Tawaf and Sa'i, if not done before, and return to Mina as soon as possible. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him came quickly to Mina after performing Tawaf. It is sooner to stay in Mina until the 10th and 11th night and the 12th day at sunset. At this time, it is Makru to stay outside the minaret without a valid reason. But one can go to Mecca for Tawaf Sa'i if he wants. There is no problem if it is night after performing Tawaf on 10 dates. 
Because if most of the nights are spent in Mina, the Sunnah of spending the night in Mina will be fulfilled. Special note, if one stays in Mecca on the night of the 10th because of illness and returns to Mina after the 11th Zohar prayer, then on the way back, one can stone three devils and return to the tabernacle. However, it should be noted that on the way from Mecca to Mina, the big devil will fall first. But don't stone the big devil. Instead, kill the small devil first, then the middle devil, and finally the big devil. According to some, it is obligatory to preserve this continuity. However, according to most of the Fukahas, Suna, Zilhid should be performed at 11. At any time from the time of Zor to the coming dawn of Sadiq, it is obligatory to throw seven stones at the small, medium, and large devils. The period of stoning starts from the beginning of Zohar time on the 10th and the 10th day. Although the time of stoning on this day is from dawn till Sadiq, it is sooner to stone before sunset. And from sunset to dawn is Makru time for the able-bodied. Stone stoning at night is not makru for women, children, and the weak. So women and elderly persons should not rush and enter the heavy crowd. Rather, if the crowd decreases, the road will be beaten. Even though the stoning area was raised to five floors, many people still lost their lives due to the rush. Note that on this day three devils should be stoned. First stone the little devil and go a little forward and raise your hands very attentively, cry, and pray for yourself and all the Muslims for a long time. Then stone the devil and go a little forward and raise your hands and pray. Finally, the elder will stone Satan. But it will not stand for two more. He can make dua while walking on the way. Stone the big devil and quickly return to the Minar tabernacle. The details of stoning are mentioned in the tenth of Zilhaj. If you have not performed far to waf on the previous day, perform far to waf today. Twelve Zilhajs are to be performed. It is obligatory to stone three devils on this day too. The time limit for stoning on the twelfth date is the same as on the eleventh date. If anyone does not want to stay in Mina on this day and night, they must leave Mina by stoning before sunset. It is mockery to leave Mina after sunset until dawn. If one becomes Sadiq in the morning before leaving Mina, then it is not permissible for him to leave Mina without stoning. Then, if you leave Mina without throwing a stone, dumb will be wajib. It is better to spend the night of twelve dates in Mina. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, spent twelve nights in Mina. If you have not performed far to waf on the previous day, you should do it before sunset today. Otherwise, dumb will become wajib. Thirteen zilhaj must be performed. If the thirteen dates are in Mina, the three devils should be stoned today like the last two days. For those who stay in Mina after dawn of the thirteenth day, stoning is obligatory on that day also. The thirteenth day is the mockery time for stone throwing from the time of Sub Sadiq to Zohar. And from the start of Zohar time until sunset is Masnoon time. As soon as the sun goes down, the time for stone throwing is over. If one fails to throw the stone before sunset, Dumb will be wage upon him. B. Doctor. It is better to collect at least 70 stones for throwing stones. It is better to collect a few more. If anything survives from the collected stones, it can be given to someone else in need. Otherwise it will be kept in a sacred place. Other activities of the 11th, 12th and 13th dates. After stoning and necessary work, the rest of the time will be occupied in Nafal Abada. That is, there will be busyness in Zikr, Quran recitation, Nafal Namaz, Due, Durud and Istikfar. Don't waste this precious time by talking unnecessarily or wandering around. There will be plenty of time for lounging and gossiping. But these precious moments may not come again in life. So there will be busyness and nafal worship with great sincerity. Sin will be forgiven. He will take whatever he asks from Allah. With the companions, the religious will do the muzak era of misail and continue the talim. The thirteenth zilhaj is to be performed after stoning. After stoning, he will return to Mecca with all the luggage. It is better to read Zor, ASR, Maghrib and Isha in the mosque at the place called Muhasib, now called Muabada, which is east of the graveyard of Mecca, before entering Mecca. If you don't want to stay there for such a long time, stay for a while and read some Duadurid. By this also a Sunnah of the location will be fulfilled. After staying here, he will return to his home in Mecca. Women's special issues related to Hatch. Due to heavy crowd, women will be able to go directly to Mina or Mecca instead of staying at Muzdalifa on the ninth night. Then from Mina in the morning or from Mecca at night, Mina will come and throw stones. Therefore, no obligation will be imposed on them. There is no problem in women throwing stones during menstruation. It is safe for women to take pebbles at night. 
because then the crowd is less. And throwing pebbles at night is not mockery for them. It is not permissible for women to throw pebbles at others just because of the crowd. Because the crowd is less at night, one can easily hit the pebbles. It is permissible for women to cast pebbles by others only when such a weakness or illness occurs that it becomes permissible to perform the obligatory prayer while sitting, i.e. when she loses the strength to go to the jama'at and cast pebbles with her own hands. Ruling on Tawaf Zirat for Menstruating Women It is forbidden to perform Tawaf while menstruating. If you are menstruating during the obligatory Tawaf of Hajj, you will not be able to perform the obligatory Tawaf. If a woman becomes pure before sunset on the 12th of Zil Hajj at a time when it is possible to perform tawaf with a bath, then tawaf should be performed then. If not due to laziness or any other reason, you have to give breath. But if there is no time to perform guzzle and tawaf before sunset, then one should not give up due to delay. Returning to the country before purification. If a woman cannot perform the obligatory tawaf of Hajj due to being in the state of menstruation or nephus, and the date of her return flight arrives before she is purified, and it is not possible to delay the date, then she will perform tawaf in the state of menstruation or nephus. By this the obligation of Hajj will be fulfilled. However, a full camel or cow due to performing tawaf in an impure state must be slaughtered within the boundaries of the haram as a breath. And for this error, we must seek forgiveness from Allah Ta'ala. Be careful. A menstruating woman should not go to the country without performing the obligatory tawaf of Hajj even during such was. Because if you go to the country without performing tawaf, you have to come back to Mecca and perform tawaf. The relationship of the husband and wife will not be valid until tawaf is performed. There is no problem if you are unable to perform farewell tawaf due to being in menstruation. Because of this, breath will not be wajib. Go to Mecca from Mina and lead a normal life. Will live from sin. The five daily prayers will be forbidden in the mosque. More and more nafil will do tawaf. If you want to do umrah, you can do that. Farewell tawaf. The time for farewell tawaf begins immediately after tawaf ziyarat. It is not necessary to make a separate intention for the farewell tawaf. If someone performs a nafil tawaf after the obligatory tawaf, then that tawaf will replace the outgoing tawaf. It is better to perform farewell tawaf for the purpose of farewell before returning home. Nafal Tawaf will be performed in the same way as Farewell Tawaf. At the end of Tawaf, two rakat wajibat Tawaf prayers will be performed. At the end of the prayer, he will cry a lot and pray to God. After that drink the water of Yam Yam. It is must to have to drink the water of the Yam at the time of Farewell. Then, with a sad heart, he will leave with the hope of coming back to Haram Sharif in his heart. Farewell Tawaf is obligatory for pilgrims coming from outside the Mikat. After the Farewell Tawaf, one can stay in Mecca and go to Masjid Al-Haram for worship. However, since it is must to have to perform farewell tawaf before leaving, so if one stays in Mecca after the farewell tawaf, then it is better to perform the farewell tawaf again on the eve of leaving. Some places to visit in Mecca. A. Janital Ma'ala, or Mu'ala, the graveyard of Mecca Sharif. Many companions here. And there is the grave of Tabian. This cemetery can be visited. About 1 km westward from Maladunabi Salalahu Alehi Wasalam. Janital Ma'ala is located on the left side after walking. Ways of visiting graves. Go to the graves and offer salam first. After giving salam, he will recite some Duadurud and Quran while sitting or standing and send Hadiyah to the grave dwellers. There is no need to raise hands and pray. If you want to pray by raising your hands, you should stand behind the grave and pray facing the Qibla. Then Adab and Idram will come along. B. Jinn and Masjid. Jinn appeared here and believed after listening to the recitation of the Holy Quran. This mosque is also located on the west side road from Mauladunabi Salalahu Alayhi Wasalam. C. Masjid Tanim. It was said by Aisha in the mosque. It's called Hazrat Aisha he used to wear Iram from here to perform Umrah. D. Masjid al Kabash. Here Hazrat Ibrahim A. Ismail A. Who tried to sacrifice. It is located at the eastern end of the minaret. E. Jabal Sor, during the Hydra, the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, and Abu Bakr, lived in a cave in this mountain, took shelter. F. Gerhera, a cave in Jabal Nur on the left side on the road from Mecca to Mina. The first revelation was revealed in this cave. Hajj performed by another or substitute Hajj. If, after Hajj is obligatory on someone, an illness occurs which is unlikely to cure until death and it is not possible to perform Hajj with that illness, then one can perform Hajj through someone else. 
Similarly, a woman who could not perform Hajj due to lack of maram after Hajj became obligatory. Now due to old age, the situation is such that she cannot walk again, and there is no possibility of recovery in future. She can also perform Hajj through someone else. One of the main conditions for the transfer of Hajj to be Sahih is that most of the expenses of Hajj are borne by the person on whose behalf Hajj is being performed and the person performing Hajj does not ask for anything in return for Hajj and does not give him anything in return. If a person dies before performing Hajj after Hajj becomes obligatory and before his death he bequeath performing Hajj on his behalf and it is possible to perform Hajj with one third of his wealth, then it is necessary for the heirs to perform Hajj on his behalf. After the obligatory Hajj, he died before performing the Hajj. But he did not bequeath to perform Hajj before his death. In this case, it is not necessary for the heirs to perform Hajj on his behalf. But if someone does it, it is expected that the duty of the deceased will be fulfilled. It is mockery tarimi to substitute Hajj for a person who has made Hajj obligatory on himself but has not yet performed it. However, there is no problem in performing Hajj by one on whom Hajj is not obligatory and he is aware of the misale of Hajj. It is better to perform the replacement Hajj through a person who has performed Hajj before and knows about the issues of Hajj. The person on whose behalf Hajj is being performed should wear Iram from the Maikat. It is wajib to return any money left over from the money paid for the purpose of Hajj by the person performing Hajj. However, if the pilgrim or his heirs give it to the pilgrim without taking it back, then it is a different story. In this case, it is better to tell the pilgrim at the time of paying the Hajj money that if any money is left over, it is yours. You can spend them on yourself. In case of replacement Hajj, it is better to perform Hajj Afradi. But if the Hajj Karanuala allows Tamadu or Kiran, then the two can be done. In case of replacement Hajj, the responsibility of Dumb and Kurbani will be on the Hajj pilgrim. That is, if due to some reason Dumb Wajib, or due to Kiran or Tamadu to give Kurbani, the Hajj will pay with his own money. However, if the sender voluntarily gives the money, there is no difficulty in performing Dum or Kurbani with the money. But Dum Asar, Dum to be paid if one cannot reach Makkah during Hajj due to any obstacle after putting on Yeram, has to be paid by the Hajj pilgrim. If the pilgrim recovers after performing the replacement Hajj and is physically fit enough to perform the Hajj on his own, then his replacement Hajj will be valid and he will have to perform the Hajj again. A man can perform Hajj on behalf of a woman and a woman can perform Hajj on behalf of a man. However, it is better not to replace a male Hajj through a female. It will also be acceptable to perform Hajj on the part of a mature person, i.e. a boy or girl who has reached puberty. If the deceased has bequeathed Hajj, if one-third of his wealth is such that it is possible to perform Hajj from the area where the deceased lives, then it should be sent for Hajj from the area where the deceased lives. Therefore, a person living in Bangladesh cannot perform Hajj with someone staying in Saudi Arabia. However, in case of lack of money, Hajj should be performed from wherever possible. Prohibited Actions in the State of Iram At the beginning of this chapter there are a few terms to know. 1. Dumb It means to slaughter a whole goat, sheep or lamb, or one-seventh of a cow, buffalo, or camel within the boundaries of Haram. 2. Batna Slaughtering a whole cow buffalo or camel within the boundaries of Haram. 3. Sadaka, Donation of one fatra of wheat, 1 kilogram 700 grams, or equivalent amount of money. But it is better to give it to a fakir within the limits of Haram. Note that a charity should be given to a fakir. Giving more than one charity to the same fakir will result in one charity. 4. Jaza, The meaning of the word jaza will vary from place to place. I.e. will be used in the sense of dumb, badna, charity, so no special meaning is mentioned here. It should be noted that acts prohibited in the state of Iran will be punished in any way. In this case, there is no difference between doing knowingly and not knowingly, willingly and unwillingly, healthy brain and diseased brain and conscious and unconscious. However, if you knowingly do the prohibited act, it is also a sin. If a person wears clothes sewn to the body structure, e.g. shirt, Punjabi, jinji, hat, socks, underpants, etc., for 12 hours or more, dumb will be wajib on him. And if he wears it for less than 12 hours, but one hour or more than sadaka will be wajib. And if you wear it for less than one hour, a fistful of wheat or this amount of money will be given in charity. If one wears a garment stitched to the body structure for several days in a row, one breath will suffice. But if restitched clothes are worn after giving breath, then give breath again. 
After wearing the stitch garment, it is opened and worn again with the intention of re-wearing, then one breath will suffice. But if there is no desire to wear it again, then wearing it again will be waged more than once. Someone is wearing a garment sewn to the body structure due to some weight. After that, at the end of was, the stitch clothes are worn again, then multiple zazas must be paid for the time of wearing. If one covers the full head or face or a quarter or more of the head or face with any hat, turban, sheet etc. for two hours or more then dumb will be wajib. If a person wears a mask for twelve hours or more at a time to protect himself from dust and sand in the state of Iram, and if the mask covers a quarter of the face, then dumb will be wajib. The same rule applies to women regarding masks. Sadaka will be wajib if used less than twice an hour but more than one hour. If a person wears a bandage that covers a quarter of the head or more due to a split in the head, and has to remain in this position for 12 hours or more, dumb will be wage upon him. If one uses perfume, scent, body spray, or any other perfume on a large part of the body, e.g. head, face, hands, feet, while in the state of Iram, then one breath will be wage up. And if a small part of the body, for example, fingers, nose, ears, is used in the whole body, or a small part of the body is used, then sadaka will be wajib. If you wash your hands or head once or twice with perfumed soap while in the state of Iram, sadaka will be wajib. Dumb will be wajib if used three or more times. In this case, the rules for shampoo and soap are the same. Dumb wajib will be done if you use kosh buddha oil, cream or lotion on the head or any other large part of the body in the state of Iram. There is no problem in eating food cooked with koshbu. If there is a mixture of koshbu with food other than cooked food, if the quantity of koshbu is less than the food, then eating it will not be wajib. And if the amount of koshbu is more than the food, dumb will be wajib by eating it full of mouth. The ruling on flavored drinks is the same dot if the tea mixed with cloves and cardamom is such that it emits the aroma of cloves or cardamom, then drinking it will be obligatory. In the state of Iram, a full beard or a quarter of the beard or more is shaved or trimmed. Dumb will be wajib. In this way, even if the full head or a quarter of the head or more is shaved or trimmed, dumb will be wajib. If one shaves or trims the hair of more than one part of the body in the same majlis, then one breath is sufficient. However, if the hair of different parts of the body is shaved or trimmed in different majlis, then one dumb will be wajib for each part. Sadaka will be wajib if the mole is trimmed or trimmed in the state of Iram. Dumb wajib will be obligatory for women in Iram if they cut their hair to the length of their fingers or more. If the hair of the head or beard falls out due to one's own actions, such as during ablution or bathing or combing, then one handful of food grain shall be given as sadaka for every three hairs. If four toenails are cut in the same majlis, one dumb will be wajib. If the nails of more than one organ are cut in more than one majlis, one dumb for each organ will be wajib. If all the nails of one limb are not cut, then one sadaka is obligatory for each fingernail that is cut. For example, if one cuts four or more nails out of four hands and feet, then one charity is obligatory for each nail. In this case, there is no difference between one meeting and different meetings. It is to be noted that if one is forced to do all the forbidden acts in the state of Iram, which is compulsory due to illness or some special reason, even if he gives six fitras or observes three fasts without taking a breath, then it will be obligatory. If the Umrah performer has intercourse with his wife before performing the four tawafs of Umrah, or if the Hajj performer has intercourse with his wife before the end of Arafah, then Umrah and Hajj will become Fayzad and one dumb will be wajib. And it will be wajib for the pilgrim to perform all the duties of Hajj like other pilgrims. Moreover, both Umrah and Hajj pilgrims have to perform this Umrah and Hajj Kaza. If one has intercourse after Ukuf Arafah and Halak and before Tawaf Ziyarat then Badna will be wajib. After Ukuf Arafah and Halak but before Tawaf Ziyarat intercourse will be obligatory. But according to Muhaki scholars, Badna will be wajib in this case too. If in the state of Iram other than sexual intercourse is performed with sexual excitement, then the breath will be wajib regardless of ejaculation or not. Dumb will be wajib if ejaculated by masturbation. In the state of Iram it is forbidden to hunt wild animals and birds. If you hunt them i.e. if you kill them, you have to give sadaka of the value of that animal. If two louses are killed or killed by others, two fistfuls of grain will be given in charity. If three or more lice are killed or slain, one phytra amount of sadaka will be wajib. If a murim kills another person's lice, nothing is obligatory on him. If you cut, burn, or uproot any fresh grass or trees that are not normally planted by humans in the boundaries of the haram, 
it is obligatory to give sadaka for its value. In this case, the Murim and the Halal person have the same ruling. Pilgrimage to Medina. Trip from Jeddah to Medina. Medina can be reached from Jeddah by bus, small car, and air. Airfare is not that much. Those who want to go to Medina first, and that is best, they will leave for Medina from home without wearing Yeram. More and more Durud Sharif will be recited on the way. The car will stop at two to one place on the road. There are facilities for eating and drinking, urinal and toilet and ablution. From there you can fulfill your needs. If you need to buy something, you can buy it. Then when the Medina bus stand near Medina City comes there the documents will be checked. Especially house rent documents will be seen. After the check is completed a guide will be given from the Mualim office to reach the specified house. Sometimes there is quite a delay in checking here. It is faster if the documents are correct. At the time of checking, there are urinal toilets, ablution bath, prayer, and breakfast facilities inside the Mualim office. From here you can complete the necessary. And whenever you get on a bus or car during the Hajj journey, write down the car number in the diary along with the importance. Then it will not be difficult to find the bus. The guide will deliver the passengers to the specific residence. And the bus driver will give everyone a card. This card will be stored with care. 24 hours before the time of return from Medina, Mualim will go to the office with this card to look for the passport. There they will leave this card and give another card. This card will get the bus to Mecca and Mualim bus to Jeddah after the Hajj tour. If the caravan is small, if you wait a little, you can take the microbus instead of the bus. In this case, assistance can be taken from the people at the adjacent counter or from the people at the Hajj camp. Double Blessing in Medina Hazrat Anas said, The Prophet, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, prayed for Medina saying, O oh Allah, give double the blessing you gave in Mecca and Medina. Plague in Dajjal will not enter Medina. Hazrat Abu Hirara Radi Allahu Ta'ala on who said, The Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, Angels are guarding the entrances of Medina, so the plague, infectious epidemic, and the Dajjal will not be able to enter Medina. Virtues of Death in Medina Hazrat Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, said that the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, he who is able to die in Medina should die there, i.e. live in Medina so that he dies there, because the one who dies in Medina will have his faith, I will bear witness. Those who go for Hajj should visit Medina. According to many, it is wajib for those who can afford it to go to Medina to perform the Hajj. Love, devotion, and respect for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is an integral part of faith. It is natural that whoever has love for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his heart will go to visit the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he gets the opportunity. As a Sheikh runs to Masuk whenever he gets a chance. It is proved by many hadiths that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is in a special state in the grave. He went near his grave and heard the Durud Salams of those who offered Durud Salams and also responded to them. And those who send greetings from afar, the angels convey their greetings to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Preparations for the trip to Medina. Take a bath and wear circumcision clothes. And we'll use perfume. We'll make a firm promise to build a life according to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you don't have a beard, you will promise to keep it from now on. Everyone should think, if the Prophet saw me without a beard while alive, how would he look at me? Could he have been at all happy to see me without a beard? And did I have the courage to do his displeasure? More and more Durud Sharif will be read. Durud Sharif is the only Wazifa in Medina tour. The closer you get to Medina, the more Durud will be recited. Pray to Raq Ahs and pray to Allah, O oh Allah. Bless my entry into Medina, protect me from all forms of indecency, grant me the full favors and blessings of the Prophet Sallallahu. Alayhi wa salam. Then start the tour of Medina. What to do after arriving in Medina? First, go to the house of Medina, pack your belongings, take a bath and wear new or clean clothes. It is better to wear white clothes. Koshba will use. If you need to eat, you will eat. Then slowly leave for Masjid and Nababi with love, devotion and respect. Virtues of Masjid al-Nababi. According to Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, Praying one rak'ah in Masjid in Nabawi is better than praying 1,000 rak'ah in any mosque other than Masjid Haram. In a hadith of Ibn Majah in the Sunan, there is a reward of 50,000 rak'ahs for one rak'ah in the Prophet's mosque, entering Masjid in Nabawi. When entering Masjid in Nabawi, one must perform the sunnahs of entering the mosque very seriously. 
Take care not to do anything contrary to the Suno when coming to the court of the Sunatwala. After entering the mosque, if possible and if it is not a mockery time, two rakat tahiyyat al-masjid will be recited in Riyazul Jana. If it is the time of the Fard prayer, read the Fard first. Ziazunzanap Abu Huzaiza. The Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, The space between my house and my member is a garden from among the gardens of paradise, and my member is on my haas, house, dot. Experience. The space from the east side of the present member of the Prophet's mosque to the wall or lattice of the Prophet's fasting is called Riazul Jannat. Red carpet is laid in Masjid al Nababi. And in Riazul Jannat there is a carpet mixed with ash and white color. Riazul Jannat can be identified by looking at the carpet. This place is always crowded. However, if there is an opportunity, he will enter there and try to pray at least to Rak AHS. Greetings at Athar during fasting. At the end of the Tahiyatul Masjid, the Guavas will leave for the Lord of both worlds, Ramadul Lil Alamin, to pay their respects to the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace. Remember, in order to receive the Prophet's answer and to be blessed with his intercession, it is important to live according to the Sunnah of the Prophet. Those who have not yet started to live according to the Sunnah should repent and make a firm promise to live according to the Sunnah in the future by repenting before attending the fast. I bear witness that there is no God but God alone, with no partner, and I bear witness that you are his servant, his messenger, and his best. I bear witness that you conveyed the message, fulfilled the trust, advised the nation, established the proof, struggled in God as he deserved, and worshipped your Lord until certainty came to you. Rituals of Mullah Ali al Kari P. Things to do during the days of stay in Medina. A. Men will offer five daily prayers with congregation at Masjid al Nabawi. Imam Ahmad Hazat Anatza narrates that the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, Whoever prays forty times in my mosque in such a way that he does not miss any of his prayers, then he will be given a certificate of freedom from hell, the punishment of the grave, and hypocrisy. B. It is better for women to pray at home. However, if it is time for a prayer while coming to visit the holy month of Ramadan, the prayer will be offered in the designated place for women in Masjid in Nabawi. C. If possible, Itikaf will be done for a few days from Nawabi and Samjid. Read a complete Quran if you can. D. Give more charity to the poor of Medina. E. If someone behaves badly in Medina, he will be treated well. Do not engage in any controversy. F. He will treat the people of Medina very intimately and lovingly. G. Whenever there is an opportunity, he will visit the fasting of the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. But it is better not to go on pilgrimage after Namas, because then there is a huge crowd. Besides, if you do pilgrimage then, the pilgrimage becomes a traditional and ceremonial work. However, according to Sharia, there is no problem in performing ziyarat even in a huge crowd after Namas. But sometimes it is better to go to Masjid in Nabawi from home in Medina only for the purpose of pilgrimage. Because it makes pilgrimage the main goal. H. Raza shall refrain from touching and kissing the walls of Sharif. J. H. Durud Sharif will be recited thousands of times daily during the days of stay in Medina. J. He will refrain completely from sin and from doing anything contrary to the Sunnah. T. If you need to buy something, you will buy it with the intention of cooperating with the merchant. It is must to have to visit some places in Medina. A. Graveyard of Medina, Bakil Garkat. Here more than 10,000 Sahaba Karim. Who has buried the names of some notable Sahaba Karim buried here are mentioned. 1. Hazrat Uthman Raziallahu Ta'ala Anhu. 2. Hazrat Khadija and Maimuna Rajiallahu Ta'ala Anhu. Except the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam all other wives. 3. Hazrat Fatima Raziallahu Ta'ala Anhu. Durdunju Hazrat Ibrahim Raziallahu Ta'ala Anhu. Son of Nabiji Salalahu Alayhi Wasallam 5. Jukayadza. Daughter of Prophet Salalahu Alayhi Wasallam 6. Hazrat Abdullah ibn Masud Razallahu Tala Anhu Yadinji. Hazrat Abdul Rahman ibn Afratzi Allahu Tala Anhu. Ahexas Hazrat Sad ibn Abi Okas Rahmatullahi Alayhi Hexas. Hazrat Abbas Rajiallahu Tala Anhu. Uncle of Prophet Salalahu Alayhi Wasallam 10. Hazrat Hassan ibn Ali Razallahu Tala Anhu 11. Imam Malik Ramatullahi Alayhi. Also, many more beloved servants of Allah are lying here. B. A Hud's grave and a Hud hill in Shuhada. A Hud hill is located about three miles north of Medina. About this mountain, the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, 
said, A hut is a mountain that loves me and I love it too. At the foot of this mountain in the third hydri, the battle of Ahud was fought with the pagans of Mecca. In this battle, seventy people died. He accepted martyrdom, especially Hazard Hamza, who was martyred very brutally in this war. It is because of the sacrifice of the martyrs of Ahud that we have received Islam today and have been able to become believers. So we should have our boundless love and gratitude towards them. As they sacrificed their lives for religion, we need to sacrifice and sacrifice for religion like them. C. Masjid Kuba. About two miles southwest from Medina is Masjid Kuba. This is the first mosque established by Muslims on earth. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stayed in this area for some time before entering Medina during his Hydra. Then he Sahaba Karamare, who built this mosque. After Masjid Haram, Masjid Al Nabawi, and Masjid Al Aqsa, this mosque has the most virtues. D. Qiblatain and Masjid. After coming to Medina, there was Qibla and Masjid Aqsa for some days. But the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, wanted the Kaaba Sharif to be made into a Qibla. In response to the desire of the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace. Allah Ta'ala declared by Tala as the Qibla of the Muslim Ummah. This change of Qibla took place in this mosque. This is why there are two Marabs in this mosque, one towards Baitullah and another towards Aqsa Mosque. There are also many other mosques and historical buildings worth visiting in Medina. By knowing through an experienced person, he can go to all places and obtain blessings. But care must be taken at all times so that the Jama'at of the Prophet does not run into the Prophet's mosque. Things to do before returning home. Before returning to the country, Two rakat prayers will be offered at Masjid Haram or Masjid Al Nabawi as his place of residence. At the end of the prayer, pray fervently to fulfill the needs of the religion and the world, to accept Hajj and pilgrimage, to be granted repeated visits to Baitella and Raza Mubarak, and to return home to Sahih Salem. Then, for the last time, the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, will offer salam. If returning home from Medina or going to Mecca, a sheikh will try to make the state of the heart the same as the state of his own heart when he is separated from his lover. Raza will return from Sharif with a broken-hearted heart. On reaching the country, after entering his area, he will recite Dua. Before entering the house, pray to Rak Ahs in the mosque of your neighborhood. Those who come to visit or ask for a stickbull, before entering the house, make Dua for forgiveness for them. A sign of acceptance of Hajj. If after Hajj the interest and effort in good deeds increases, a great difference is observed between the life before Hajj and the life after it. The condition of religion becomes much better than before. Attachment to the world decreases. Then it can be hoped that Allah Ta'ala has accepted Hajj. Because these are signs of acceptance of Hajj. May Allah bless us all with Hajj. Amen.